Welcome, I'm Jennifer Ray, and in this video I'm going to discuss the yin yoga posture of half butterfly and half dragonfly. So both of these names are used oftentimes interchangeably in the yin yoga system, so I thought I would just explain both of them in one video. These postures are really helpful at opening the back line of the body, so where the hamstrings lie, and they also help to open the spine. This is also where the urinary bladder channel runs in the Chinese medical system. So watch the video to learn a little bit more. Half butterfly and half dragonfly are both forward folds in the yin yoga system, and their names are oftentimes used interchangeably. So half dragonfly you can think of as just bringing one foot in towards the groin, in towards the inner leg, and then the opposite leg extends out in front of you. And generally here you fold forward over the extended leg. For half butterfly, we could bring the leg a little bit wider, and then we fold down through the center or towards one side. And depending on the angle that you take as you fold forward, you're going to bring the stretch into different parts of the spine and the back body. So whichever variation you choose, both postures are activating the back line of the leg. This is where the hamstrings lie along the back of the thigh and then all the way along either side of the spine. This is also where the urinary bladder meridian runs in the Chinese medical system. Now, if you activate or target the outer hip at all, that's the gallbladder channel. And so then as you come forward, you have two options. You can gently round the spine and drop the head, or you can keep the spine long and upright. If you have a tendency towards kyphosis or a real rounding in the spinal column, you'll probably want to keep the spine upright as you fold forward. Now with both of these variations, as you fold forward, you're looking for a forward tilt in the pelvis. And so I've discussed that in other videos about forward folding, in that we're looking for this forward tilt of the pelvis to take some of the stress out of the lower back. One of the ways you can accomplish this is by sitting up on a prop. So here I'm using a bolster, but you could also use a folded blanket. You can support the head by either using the hands or using a prop in front of you, like the bolster. So you can place the bolster like so as you fold forward. Once you have set yourself up, be sure that you're not rounding enough to compress the diaphragm. So as always, you really want to keep the length in the side waist in order to initiate full and complete breaths through the movement of the diaphragm. So there's sometimes a tendency to really collapse into the diaphragm when a student is rounding forward. Other options include support for the knees and the hamstrings. So if you have any issues or history of a hamstring tear or even just limitation, real you know, tight hamstrings or issues in the knee, you could place support underneath your leg. So in that case, you would do something like so. And then you would fold forward from here. You could do that with all of the different variations as you come down. Now you may also notice that the opposite knee here, the foot that's drawn in, the knee is really high up off the floor and this is probably due to limitations or structure of the hip. And in that case, you would support underneath the knee this way in order to fold forward. So definitely use support in your practice in order to really stay in the pose for a longer period of time in a safe way. This is also true if you're working with knee limitations. As always, you really want to check in with the body and make sure that you're not experiencing pain in any way. So anything that feels sharp or shooting or electrical, this is definitely a message from your body that something is not quite right and you need to adjust or use a modification. So once you have arrived in the posture, you're welcome to stay, especially in the yin yoga practice for a longer period of time. As long as you're not feeling any sensation that feels unsafe or painful, you can stay for a number of minutes, just focusing on your breath and the sensations in the body. 
So then when, you, when you're finished there, when you've, the time is up, you can slowly start to walk your hands back towards your body. And then depending on the variation you're in and the next posture that you're going to take, you could take a counter pose or you could just simply extend both legs out in front of you and rest back on your hands for a moment, taking a deep breath through the front of the chest. Okay, so I hope that helps to clarify some of the half butterfly and half dragonfly movements. Uh, please do go over to jenniferray.com and sign up for my mailing list. That way I can keep sending you more practices and more tips and suggestions for your yoga practice. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.